Even as citizens of a country considered to be in the third world, many South Africans have become accustomed to the middle to upper class lifestyle. But what does food represent in this modern society? Has this lifestyle guided us into considering taste as the deciding factor? And has the way we choose our food left hunger in a side note? Gluttony is universally understood as a simple overindulgence of food and drink. But an important subtext that people tend to overlook is that eating because of desire or want is very much part of gluttony, something that many of us unknowingly do every day. For middle to upper class citizens, the abundance of available food and endless range has never been this buried. And with convenience stores all over the suburbs, it has never been this easy to come by. For those who can afford it, the question needs to be asked. If food is chosen or prepared after hunger and need, or if taste, novelty or fashion is the guiding factor. Junk food is consumed in vast quantities. It is fast, it is available and it tastes great. The drinks we consume as part of our social behavior are not chosen for their nutritional value, but due to taste or peer preference. The dangers of overconsumption, be the drinks alcoholic or not, are routinely ignored. <laughs> This approach to eating and drinking means that people don't realize how much they eat or how much of it is unhealthy. They often don't realize what they eat is completely over and above the requirements of their bodies to keep functioning. But after all the unhealthy habits and misunderstanding of food we see or experience each day, there is no standard we can put on the line between needs and gluttony. And so we shouldn't all start eating dry grass in attempt to abstain from gluttony. Perhaps just a thoughtful pause while loading our trolleys in the confectionery aisle is enough to save our souls. <laughs>